8,840 pounds, which is surprisingly light for a big old brick of this size. Um, this is an open range 323 RLS that we originally sold new here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. The first question anyone is going to ask, and rightfully so, is okay, why do you have a used 17 here? What is wrong with it? What did they do? And the answer is nothing. It's fine. What they did is they bought a lake house and they didn't need an RV anymore. And that's the only reason it's here. Now we're going to talk more about the slide outs on this open range later. But uh, a quick little sneak peek here is they have a very exceptional slide quality here in that their slide outs are 42 inches deep instead of 36 like a normal big trailer like this or a flat deck fifth wheel as I will no doubt refer to this thing. The catch 22 here is the deeper slide extends further into the RV. So trying to access the RV with the slide closed, a little bit tricky. That's a little bit skinnier. My seven year old could squeeze through there. I think I'd have a problem. The good news, you got your little hid hidden control panel here and you push this button for about a whopping four seconds. And that's about all it takes to be able to get through here, be able to get to the refrigerator. Cause if you look, you can get to the fridge when this is closed up. You can get to a lot of your pantry storage and whatnot that way. So it's not terribly untravel friendly. Now, another thing here is they're using a slide system called AccuSlide. And one of the very cool, interesting qualities of that is that whether the slide is fully closed or fully opened or even halfway, it doesn't matter. It is actually always still sealed. So that's one of the neat little benefits of this slide system. And, uh, you know, it gives you the ability to make this travel accessible without actually causing any leaks or problems. It is clean. It is well kept. You're basically looking at what is pretty close to a new RV at a used RV price tag. What's also neat is there are a lot of really interesting, unique qualities on this one that are very easy to miss. So uh, you're gonna hear me talk about this quite a bit because it's really one of the signature calling cards of this camper. But over here, we've got a deeper 42 inch slide out. I mentioned that when we had the slides closed. It is six inches deeper. And what that means is that like all of your furniture is fully encapsulated in the slide out. It doesn't bleed over into your living and walking space. Now, on top of that, Kind of like a big old luxury fifth wheel, this is actually built with a wide body. So between that slide and this body being bigger, we've got 10 additional inches of living space here that other things don't have. And yet, it comes in just over 8,800 pounds. It doesn't even crest the 10,000 mark, or 9,000 mark even. So that is, that's where I said this is surprisingly lightweight for something of this variety. And where I think that makes this very good is like if you are um, a snowbird, a sunbird, or whatever bird, where you like to fly south and migrate uh, away from the cold climates here of the Midwest and then leave something in the, you know, in Florida for your winter home, this is a solid option. Because it is something that that l reduced weight tag will be uh, nice when you're towing it but you've got all the room in the world when you get there. And actually, you've got more room when you get there. Over here, we've got our full Furion uh, electronics complement. What's nice is they have like a smart connect system where like up here, this all-in-one Bluetooth DVD does everything kind of unit. Like if you pop a DVD in here, the TV will go, oh, wait a minute, you did something to the stereo unit. We, Me and the stereo, we're good buddies and we talk. So I'm going to flip over to DVD mo mode for you. I got you covered, partner. It's just... It, it sounds dumb, but guys, but it's just one less button you have to push, and it's, it's just easier, you know? We don't need 10 remotes. Also, something Open Range has done to great effect for many of uh, years is they actually kind of had a little hidden pantry back here behind the entertainment center. That's just a neat little thing here where you don't have to waste potential storage space. You get every square inch of this thing right above that electric space heating fireplace. That does have... Uh, LED visuals, by the way, if you just don't want to turn on the heat, but you want the look of that fireplace. Now, back here, we've got our uh, big hide-a-bed sofa that can open up if we have guests and uh, opens up lickety-split, which is nice being that memory foam. Um, the uh, venting, you notice back here we don't have vents in the floor. They actually routed that vent under the sofa, but we're still able to maintain that trifold there. Not every brand has engineered that properly to figure it out. Open Range obviously has. Your side stands, an easy thing to miss too, are the power outlets right under those ledges down there in those shadows. They're kind of hiding like Batman in the shadows. And that, just having extra outlets everywhere, tell me when that's never been preferable, being able to keep all your stuff charged up. Now we've got wall hugging theater recliners directly across from that entertainment center. So this is extremely easy viewing. You don't have to crank your neck around. 
um, the all of the windows are going to open for ventilation. And another thing I like about this one, very much like the Eagle 330 RSTS that we carry here at Halo RV, all of these windows are on the door side. And look at the entry door. You see how the entry door is an extension of those windows? It doesn't have that clouded mask of a window. You can actually see through it, and it does have a privacy shade, and it does have a panel that opens up for airflow. So even the entry door does the same thing that all of the other windows here are going to do. In the kitchen, we're going to have solid surface countertops, both uh, here on the island and in the prep station behind within the slide-out. Uh, and you've got excellent storage going on here in this island with all kinds of drawer space. And if I uh, back up a little bit, just give you kind of a, a nice panoramic view of her, you can see that this has a tremendous amount of kitchen storage, starting with uh, the, the big pockets that are on each side of the microwave, moving down to the what I call pull-out perfect pantry. You'll see where there was a, a pantry, like, like a cabinet door that slides open to you. Big full drawer even under the stove with drawers on both sides. Then you've got that big pantry next to the refrigerator. Uh, and we tend to finish up with a, a nice little hanging closet door above the hidden control center. And I like how they hide those controls where the little grandbabies can't get to them necessarily. Um, stainless appliance bundle really kind of breaks up what could also could otherwise be a little bit of interior monotony within this kitchen. And that giant 23 cubic foot stainless steel fridge certainly doesn't help any or hurt anything either. Pardon me. 1,000 watt inverter on that can keep it charged and running down the road. So we've got multiple drawers in the island. We've got triple drawers, one of those being a pots and pans drawer. So let's be, let, let's be real world and let's cut that out and say we've got uh, you know two normal human drawers there, more over here. You've got at least a half dozen drawers within reach of this kitchen within one step away. Now, another thing I like, they gave you a power vent fan up here to exhaust cooking heat in addition to that vent fan right there. But they also gave you an additional skylight over here just to help add that extra natural ambient light. Now you may notice how we've got the double AC runs right here. This is a residential AC system often referred to as racetrack ducting. Uh, the, the ducting system actually bends and whips around and what that creates is superior airflow. It's not going to get colder in here. It'll get down to temp more easily. That's the idea. You also notice that we have double bank high intensity lighting and they are using high intensity lighting. Like if I kick those off in here, it's just an instant dramatic difference that it makes. Um, I do also like, I don't know if you're noticing guys, but they put just a little bit of a swell on those lights. It just, it, it, they don't just flash hard. It bleeds up to, to full illumination. It's quick. It's maybe imperceptible, but it's there and it, it just has a more natural organic feeling. That took a little extra time and planning. This bathroom is awesome. And a lot of times people say, you know, you make too much of a big deal over the fact that this has a four inch wider body, like that's a really, really big difference. And the answer is, yeah, it is, because this bathroom wouldn't be possible otherwise. Another thing, guys, and I should have talked about this sooner, this has a minimum seven foot interior height, which is how they're able to have this big giant refrigerator in the slide out right here, like a fifth wheel. Um, th this has, and if you really notice, if you look at the back of that slide out and you see how the roof actually grows above the slide, this has not just a side to side arched roof, this has a front to back north south sweep as well. So it's actually a dual vaulted roof construction system. You just don't see that very commonly. Now, that big extra interior height, like if I step in here and try not to bash my head, I, I am in absolutely no danger of bashing my head anywhere in this thing. There's all kinds of headroom going on here. Now, as long as we're here, They've done an ace job with this corner sink. I've seen a lot of brands try to do a corner sink and they always put that glass bowl thing there. Maybe I'm just too much of a Midwestern boy at heart. I never liked that glass bowl. I never liked it. I know it was in our luxury fifth wheels here for a while. I know it had maybe a pretty look. And I think that thing sucked. I like a normal real sink. That's This is my speed right here. Um, We've also got porcelain foot flush stool with plenty of leg room. You are not going to be short on leg room in this. So if you need to, I don't know, if you're one of these squatty potty enthusiasts, you're going to have plenty of room for your little widget here. Anyway, now um, as I uh, spin around, one of the things that someone's going to say is not a lot of countertop space here in the bathroom. Well, they thought of that too because they give you this big old countertop extension that's there when you need it, gone when you don't. You've got outlets there. You've got outlets here. Um, so if you want to plug in uh, I don't know, any of your blow dryery or shaver type stuff, you're good. Extra drawers here in the bathroom and dedicated linen storage right here in the bathroom. And that is deceptively deep. We also have a dual entry bathroom. So trying to get 
This shower bath arrangement and a second entry door without a wide body is just about impossible. So that wider body is really what makes this bathroom work so, so well. Up here, 70 by 80 king bed. So, uh, and now this, what the, the previous owners, they swapped out the original mattress, but all the original bedding is here. That's the original bed spread. Uh, below this, we have a big, heavy-duty, serious um, pillow-top memory foam residential mattress. What that means, guys, that is a bigger, heavier mattress than was ever intended to be there initially. It also means you're going to sleep so much better than you would have on a normal RV bed. The flip side here, though, is because this mattress is heavier, the easy lift bed deck right here, those struts that help you lift the bed up, they are now underrated for the weight of that new mattress. But if, if it... You know, if I had to choose between sleeping good every night and maybe once a month getting to the storage under the bed, well, I'll, I'll choose to sleep good every month. I think these folks did just fine. Um, dual cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed, and I love that little phone shelf above, and it's in a place that's far enough back and it's uh, shallow enough, you're not going to bash your head on it. Um, up here, they did something interesting with this closet. At a glance, you're like, okay, it's a normal hanging closet, but... There's actually storage below it that you can get to from inside, so it's kind of got like a little built-in treasure chest, if you will. And how many travel trailers do you know of? And there's a few, but it is a short list, that have a stackable prepped washer-dryer closet, like a fifth wheel, right here in the bedroom. And I, I like seeing stuff like this. Owners, uh, I don't believe this RV had a TV in it when it was brand new in the bedroom. I think they installed this and left it behind. So that's a very nice indication that these folks, they kind of had like a place for everything and they weren't scavengers. I like seeing things like that. Uh, the big dresser drawers here in the bedroom kind of polish it off. But if you notice, you do have like a little phone charge station right over there under that as well. Um, you're going to find some uh, a few pieces, parts, and accessories laying around. Like you can see the, uh, the bucket right there. That's part of the uh, initial starters bundle that we supply all of our campers with uh, on any brand new RV. So there's going to be some things, uh, some accessories left over that the previous folks left behind. There may still be a couple odds and ends you'll want to pick up, but that's why we provide all of our customers with a discount through our parts department. Now this vent up here, one other thing I want to mention is this is a 50 amp RV, and you are ready to install a second AC there if you're interested. Um, depending on what kind of AC you're looking for, quotes can vary. So give our parts team here at Haylitz a call and, and we can give you a, a, a total out the door quote on this RV with, without, second AC, whatever you're looking for. Um, and with that, I think we're about ready to step outside. So again, just to kind of readdress the concerns that I already sort of addressed once when this video first began, is there anything wrong with this? Why are they getting, ready of a, uh, getting rid of a 17? And the answer is I can't really find anything. You can see all that gleam and gloss still present on the skin. Nice little outside entertainment center right here. If you choose to like hook up a TV or anything, you're good to go there. Um, the uh, nose cap was an optional piece of equipment applied to this camper. Again, being the dealer who sold this brand new, I'm pretty familiar with how she was put together. Now, one thing that is easy to miss, though, a lot of people are going to say, yeah, but there's no stone guard. Aha, but there is. They did such a good job of it, you weren't really aware of it. If you look, uh, real close. I, I'm trying to see if I can get a good shot of it in frame. It's Again, it's almost imperceptible. There is a layer of diamond shield right there. Okay, you can see how this is smooth up here and this looks a little muddy down here. That's because there is a uh, near invisible layer of what's called diamond shield on there. They put that stuff on the front of motor homes for stone guards because, you know, when you pay eight grand for a full body painted motor home, you sure don't want to see chips on the front of it your first trip out. This has the same protection on the front, guys. Um, so once again, we are a uh, 100 inch wide body, four inches wider body with a six inch deeper main living room slide. Now this uh, is really one of the few, still one of the few uh, travel trailers proven to zero degrees. So this is a part for part match with the fifth wheels they produce, which is kind of cool. It's an unusual quality. And you also see that your stabilizer jacks here have those strong arm lock bars on them. Because this has a wide body, because it has that extra deep slide out, it could easily be a little topsy-turvy when you are at a campsite, you know, from rocking and rolling around from all that extra torque. So those jack legs, just straight eliminate that. Anyone who's ever tried those things, they're like, these, these are the business. Now, something I think that is cool is uh, you have a big storage pocket right here under that closet. You can get to it from inside or outside. And then... 
under the bed you have an additional storage compartment now this is one of those things i was saying that there might be some accessories left and this is awesome they got a really heavy duty 50 amp surge protector and a circuit analyzer on this and what the difference between a circuit analyzer and a surge protector is that a circuit analyzer does everything a surge protector does plus you can see all these different lights up here it will tell you the moment you hook up if you have good power bad power open grounds you know etc so it's it's a advanced diagnostic tool. You can plug this into the park power before you plug your RV in to make sure you have good power so you don't blow anything like your big expensive air conditioner and furnace and refrigerator. Little um, enclosed water docking station and cable dock station is another one of those things that kind of help these on their insulation factors. And you might notice actually, it is fully skirted. It does wrap all the way around the underbelly. Now, uh, kind of like they have that cyclical airflow system in the roof in your air conditioner system, you have something very similar on this going on in the underbelly. So it's got uh, not just an enclosed underbelly, not just a heated underbelly, but also an insulated underbelly with cyclical heating. So hot air is pumped into the basement and then it doesn't just sit there encapsulated. Like imagine trying to over inflate a, a Pepsi or a Coke bottle just by putting it on your mouth and blowing as hard as you can. You're really not going to get that far, are you? But you, you puncture a hole in the bottom of that bottle and you let hot air flow through and it stays much, much warmer in your hands. This is the exact same concept. Um, so uh, that's one of the areas these guys were able to achieve such uh, you know advanced hot cold testing data uh, on, on a trailer like this. Now, our aluminum wheels, the tires, everything there looks good. Equal flex suspension on this. So once again, under 9,000 pounds and with a suspension upgrade to get it from here to Florida and enjoy the experience. Now, little detail stuff I like on this. And again, if you're going to be in a really hot weather, cold weather expansion climate, that's where having formed aluminum corner trim as opposed to plastic screw trim is kind of an advantage because it means it's going to hold up better and be less uh, susceptible to heat expansion. It is ready for a backup camera. There's just another look at that extra, extra deep 42-inch uh, slide. I think we're about ready to head up the roof. What do you say? Considering the late model nature of this RV, I really didn't expect the roof to look any different. It just literally hasn't been around long enough and it hasn't been in weather harsh enough for like the original factory seals to show any signs of weathering. Um, the PVC roofing on this is doing a good job, obviously, of not uh, molding and spotting up. So it is working as intended. Um, these do have the uh, Max Air fans, uh, well, the Max Air vent covers over the bathroom vent fans. There we go, if I can get that spit out correctly. And one thing that's hard to describe on the inside is what I call like the Manta Ray uh, TV antenna. This is something that we've been selling aftermarket for a while, this King Jack antenna system. Basically, it's it's what's nice about it is you don't have to crank it up and down and it gets longer reach and uh, increased range of reception. So in English, more channels with more clarity. And that's kind of the whole point here. So yeah, looking through it, the roof looks pretty good. Everything uh, up here looks uh, pretty ship shape. If you have any other questions, give us a call at Halet RV, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. And holy cow. Look at that sea of RVs. That is good looking up here this morning.